What's up everyone, Safe Tone here. Welcome back to another Hockey Card video. As you can see, we're going to be opening up some 2022-23 Series 1 Retail Box. There is 8 cards per pack, 24 packs per box. I love getting retail. Now, this product here, I know I'm late. I've never opened this product before on the channel. I was focused on some other stuff uh, prior to now. So I do want to get a complete base set of this, along with getting a lot of the Young Guns. There's a few that I'm actually on the lookout for and just see some of the other inserts that they did add this year. Along with that, I'm really excited for 2023-24. I do have a hobby box waiting to be opened as well. I'm going to be opening up that soon on the channel. But let's get into this here. So since there is 24 packs, I'm likely going to be... Uh, the quickest way I can do this is more focused on the inserts than obviously the base. But I do want to take a look at the base uh, first just to see what there is uh, and what they look like because I have not seen them yet myself personally. So first pack here, there's 24 packs inside. And the base actually look pretty decent. So this is Gabriel Lengskog. Um, honestly... I like the name is simple down here. I do like that it is basically uh, the name is simple. It just says upper deck here and it's focused on the player and just they look really clean, crisp and they look player forward and it looks like the team colors are in the bottom portion here. So that's really cool. So let's go through. We did get a Young Guns. This is one of the Young Guns. I think one of the top Young Guns you can get for this set, which is I'm going to miss probably mispronounce it. Lucas Reichel. Uh, so it's one of the top Young Guns you can get from this set. So I'm excited for that. And then we have some more base. So we're going to be focusing on the inserts, the Young Guns, um, any of the other inserts. And try to go through these packs as quickly as we can. So we're in the second pack here. We have another Young Guns for Adam Raska. So we have some base. And the rest are base. I'm going to be checking because some packs might receive two, um, I don't know, inserts. Next pack here. Ooh, we do have a Young Guns canvas, which I think are 1 in 20, uh, 48 packs, actually. So every other um, retail box. But it's for Jack LaFrontaine. It's actually a really nice canvas card. And the rest are all base. But I am going for a complete base set as well, which is why I wanted to get a retail box for this, just so I don't have to buy too much extra of this product, because I want to focus on this year's instead. We have a blue Dazzler for Jamie Ben, so the first Dazzler of the box. And the rest are base. I like that Chris Dredger. I love goalie cards, you guys know this. Next pack here, we do have a checklist. Do have another canvas for Nick Suzuki. As you guys probably seen from my other videos, I love collecting canvas cards as well. And that's a really nice canvas card for my collection. Oh, we do have our first look at this year's portraits. I actually really like that. It's clean, crisp, I like the black contrasting with the almost goldish, goldish hue. So that's really cool. And then we do have the rest as base. Next pack here. We do have a Young Guns. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name, but a pretty cool Young Guns. So we're three Young Guns in. I think there's on average six per box. So hopefully we do get more. I don't know if they count the Young Guns canvas as a Young Guns when they say six Young Guns per box. So hopefully just six regular Young Guns. We do have a center of attention for Sebastian Aho. Another new insert that I have not gotten before. And the rest are all base. Ooh, we do have a Nick Suzuki honor roll for 2022-23. That's actually really cool. Superstar honor roll. The rest are base. It's pretty nice inserts, honestly. Ooh, 
Oh, I see a red uh, Dazzler here. For Austin Matthews, I'm not sure the rarity of these versus the blue, but that is awesome in my opinion. So I'm going to put this probably right here and put the center of attention back, and the rest are all base. At least so far, we have not received a base only pack. That tends to happen. I know there's a new configuration for 23 24 that probably will limit that happening or eliminate that from happening, but still, it can still happen for this year's product. Ooh, we'd have a debut dates for. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name, but it's a nice foil background. I don't know if all the debut dates have a rainbow background. Let me know. But another new insert. I feel with all the new inserts, the different Dazzlers, uh, the different inserts all together, it'd be harder to get a complete set because you're not getting just a ton of the portraits or a ton of one um, type of insert. You're getting a whole bunch, so it might be harder to get a complete master set. At least I would think. See, here's another one. Rookie Retrospective. Which I love because there's actually Jersey variant cards, which obviously this one's not one of those. But that's still a really clean and crisp card. I'm actually going to move the base cards up. I'm just going to toss it right there. It's a nice uh, foil background as well. I've honestly lost count of how many packs we are already in. But that's the fun of the retail packs. And another new one, Defense, Defense Mechanism, Drew Doughty. It's kind of, yeah, you can see it on camera too. It's kind of rainbow foil as well. So another really cool one. And I'm running out of space because of all of these uh, new inserts. We have Robin Leonard as well. I always focus on the uh, goalie cards, I find. But they're so cool. See what we get in this pack. We now have another Young Guns for Jordan Spence, actually a player I really like, so that's really cool. So I think we need a few more Young Guns before we hit six, and we're still have a lot of packs left. Oh, I see a red Dazzler here, and it is for Luke uh, Pierre Luc Dubois. Stuttered on the name. The rest are all base. Retail packs are just fun to open. You get so many packs, you get so many possibilities, you get so many uh, decent young guns usually. Another young guns for Braden Schneider. How many young guns do we have now? One, two, three, four, five. So unless they count the S the uh, canvas young guns as a young gun when they say six per box, we should be expecting one more. At least one more. I'd like to get more. We do have another retrospective of Anton Lundell. I actually like that one more because I like Florida obviously more than the Sharks. I've talked about the Sharks on the channel. I'm just not a fan. I think they need a, re a complete brand new rebuild. And we do have another debut dates. This one is for Jamie Drysdale. Which is awesome because I think I have his young guns somewhere and it's just going up in value. Actually, I might have a couple of his young guns. Might have checked to see. I did that with uh, Tag Thompson for my 2017-18 set. I just sold those two not too long ago actually because they skyrocketed. We have an Upper Deck Portraits for Jason Robertson. So cool. We have a lot of Nick Suzuki. Um, usually every time I open up a box or a product, usually one player, I'll get all of their inserts, which is funny. But this time, not so much. So we have Jeff Mallett's Young Guns. So this is the sixth Young Guns we've received. That Jake Allen base card looks amazing. And the rest are all base. So we now have our six Young Guns. I would love to get a few more. I think we have four packs left. But... Uh, Likely not happening. We will see. We do have a superstar honor roll for Yossi. Uh, and funny enough, we have two of his inserts now. 
rest are all base. Three packs left. Ooh, nice upper deck canvas for Jeremy Swayman. Don't know why I stuttered on his name here. Put it right next to that. And I don't think we've had a pack that was uh, without an insert yet, which is awesome. Next pack here, another canvas card. So two canvas cards in a row for Philip Dalt. Not a fan of, but love getting the canvas cards. Final pack here. Hopefully a jersey retrospective would be nice, but kind of doubted at this point. Of course, it has to be the last pack to be base only. That's usually my luck. But we did good. Only one of the 24 packs was all base cards. All the rest had at least one insert in it, which is awesome. So we did get six Young Guns. We did get a Young Guns canvas, which is one out of 48 packs. So every two retail boxes should have one. Two debut dates, or sorry, honor rolls. We did get two debut dates. We did get the center of attraction. Uh, we did get two rookie retrospective, two red dazzlers, one blue dazzler. We did get three, sorry, yeah, three canvas cards and two portraits as well. This box here was $84, something like that, around $80 to $84. But I think it was a lot of fun. Now, obviously, I'm going for the complete base sets. But obviously, I'd like to get some more of the Young Guns for this year. Comment down below what you guys think. Should I get another retail box? Should I get a hobby box? What do you guys think for this year's Series 1? How should I try to go about getting some more inserts and completing my base sets? But I'll leave this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.